Hello and welcome to my guest room. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along with me as I work on setting up our nursery. We are having it in our guest room because that is the only other like bedroom that we have. And my goal with the nursery, I do not intend to utilize it for where the baby will be sleeping immediately. Uh, we actually were gifted a bedside bassinet that I plan on using initially. We do have a crib that I'm going to be setting up that we will use once he gets a little bigger and I am more comfortable with him being in a different room, which the room's right next to our bedroom, so it's not like it's that far away. I wanted to bring you guys along because I thought this would be a fun video getting to see how I decorate. You'll get to see more of the decoration pieces and how I use them from my baby shower that was a few videos back. And yeah, also filming it just helps incentivize me to actually do it. So also I'm um, like a month and a half away from having this baby. So I should probably get this stuff going. So it's not just a disaster in here. Here is where we are starting. All right, so currently we have the door, the lovely lamp. This is the crib mattress. We have a little space heater, which we are obviously not using right now because it is July. This is the dresser that we got from my mom. The changing pad is currently sitting on top of it. I do have an actual like changing station on my registry that I will be eventually getting. And that is going to go under this window. And that's where that mat or that uh, mattress, the changing pad will sit on top of that then. We have a little electric swing that will most likely end up downstairs in our living room. This is our futon that is going to stay here. You can see the disassembled crib back there. All of our miscellaneous baby shower gifts that I need to organize. My plan is to assemble that crib and put it over here. And then this table just has miscellaneous stuff on it right now. And then in this corner, we have my glider that I have had for many, many years. I have had this thing for well over a decade, probably like closer to 15 years or something at this point. And on top of it is a pile of some baby blankets. And right here is all of our newborn and zero to three month clothing that once I get a few minutes, I plan on actually folding and organizing and putting into that dresser. And then I also have a rocking ottoman right there. You can ignore the tripod sitting there along with a stuffed Gumby that somebody gifted us and this beautiful pillow that one of Dan's coworkers made. Look at how absolutely precious this is. And it has all of the alphabet on it. And I love the color like so much. So I'm very excited to have that in here and it's very soft. And of course the Packers helmet, because this is Dan's child, there's going to be Packers things in here. I think the first thing I want to do, which might seem a little like unnecessary, but in my head, it's the biggest thing that I feel like needs to get done. And that is assembling the crib. So I am going to set you up and probably just time lapse me working on getting this crib put together. All right, and the crib is officially in place. We have, I also went and got the fan out of our bedroom because it's quite warm up here. The crib is assembled and in place. We have a couple friends over right now, so I enlisted their help and Dan's to get the crib moved for me because I definitely would not have been able to do that. And Dan put the mattress in for me as well, which was very nice of him. So I think now what I'm gonna do, just for the sake of it being cute, is I'm gonna take some of the stuffed animals and stuff like that and like just kind of fancy up the crib. I know that you're not supposed to have anything in there when the baby is in there, but you absolutely can have cute stuff in there when you're just making it look cute. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Starting with these three right here. 
these three guys were gifts from my brother and sister-in-law for my baby shower. And you can see they're all the classic, they're all classic Winnie the Pooh characters. And I am obsessed with them, especially Piglet. For some reason, Piglet with green, I just love. So these three are absolutely going in here because I love them so much. Let's see, I also think Gumby needs to hang out in here, probably like, in the corner. Well, he looks a little creepy in that dark corner. Maybe he'll hang out in this corner. That's a little less creepy. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> and then I'll get a couple blankets and things like that in here as well. I'm sweating because it's hot up here. I do have a fan that we bought going, so that's hopefully going to help cool it off a little in here. But as you saw, I got all of our newborn to three month old clothes sorted and organized, and I sorted them by size slash age like that they were listed as. So I had like a whole section for newborn, which I put in this first drawer this section in this drawer i put all of the clothes that were labeled as a zero to three month and the very bottom one i put all of them that were labeled three months and then up here is just like miscellaneous stuff so i have all of those in there right now and we have totes and boxes and stuff i think i told you already about this in closet of larger sized clothes which i just inherited some more larger sized clothes that I need to put away in there and I just haven't, I'm gonna wait for Dan to get that stuff out. <laughs> you can see behind me on the wall, we hung a few decorations already. We are starting to plan out what we want on the walls and where we want them. And I had Dan come in here and we kind of brainstormed a bunch of stuff. And these were as simple as putting a nail in the wall and hanging them on the wall. So we just went ahead and did that while we were talking about it. And I really like them. I think they're very cute. These are from my baby shower. So these were on the different tables. There was actually six of them, but we only decided to hang five of them because there was one, the quote, we were just like, it's a fine quote, but it doesn't sound especially A.A. A. Milne or Winnie the Pooh, so we just decided not to put it in there. Maybe we'll put it somewhere else in the room, maybe we'll just not use it at all, I don't know. But we have stuff to hang another big thing on the wall that we got from my baby shower, and Dan has plans to make some like baby book shelving, so we want to make that with wood that we have, and then we will put them on the wall as well. I have the clothes put away. I have the crib done back there. You can see it kind of all set up and cute. And I have all of my cloth diapers and the inserts all in those boxes. My plan is to put the changing table right here. And I'm hoping that a lot of those will fit into the little cubbies that are under the, that I'll put under the changing table. So that's my hope. If it works, awesome. If not, I'll figure somewhere else to put them. The other thing that I did have an idea of what I wanted to do, these clothespins that were also part of the baby shower where you would, you know, wear them on your clothes and you couldn't say the word baby. And if you did, you had to give your pin to somebody else and the, whoever had the most at the end won, which was me. Mostly because as people were leaving, they were like, oh, Julie, baby, baby, here you go. And they just gave me their clothespins because they said the word. So otherwise, Eric a million percent would have won because he had way more than I did without people giving me them. But something I want to do with all these is here's the door. This blank wall behind the door. We can't really put that much because the door is going to open and like 
push against the wall and I don't want things getting squished. But what we can do, which I thought would be really cute, would be is if we made kind of like a mini clothesline that hung on the wall and used these to display like a couple different little outfits that we thought were especially cute. And then it just kind of be a place where we can show off some of the really cute outfits. Maybe it could be themed, maybe it isn't themed because we have a handful of Winnie the Pooh outfits that are very, very cute that we could hang up there so it's just even more themed. So I thought that would be a really cute way to use up these little like Tigger Tail clothespins as well. We're currently working on um, putting grommets into this giant like 100 acre woods map that we have that was in my baby shower that Amanda did and we're wanting to hang it up on the wall in their nursery. So we practiced on the just this scrap of material that we had to put it in and see how it looked and I think it worked pretty well. All right so there is our first one mm -hmm. in place ready to go looks mm -hmm. great yeah and then we'll just do that two more times. Mm -hmm. We ended up adding another grommet in the corner there because this side was really like loose and saggy. And oh my gosh, that looks so much better. So much better. Oh yeah, that's, oh my gosh, I love it. Here, step over here okay. so I can get a full view of it. Yep. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, yeah. That's wonderful. The only thing I would wonder is if there was a way, I think it's just the way that it lays that this is gonna be a bit on the, uh, but also it's very crinkly, so it laying down might just have to, might just have to sort of soften. Yeah. That yeah, looks better already. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so cute. And then we can push the yep. glider back mm -hmm. and pretend like there's not a drill and a hammer sitting in the glider. Oh, it's so cute. I love that. Me too. Me That's really, really cool. All right, you are now joining me in the garage because this is the next part of our finishing up the nursery decor that we're working on. And we're gonna be painting some stuff. So we recently got this changing table at a garage sale. It's currently backwards. This is the back of it. And we got it for a very good price. It's basically exactly what we needed. Obviously, we are not having a girl. We are having a boy. So I don't want to leave it pink. And if I even if I didn't care about the color, like it does not match anything that's going on in his nursery. So we wanted to adjust and make it match his nursery a little bit better. Also, there is a fan going because I get hot very easily now. <laughs> So Dan and I went to the store today and got some paint and basically we are going to be painting this changing table and Dan put together the beginnings of three shelves right there that are going to be turned into bookshelves that we're also going to paint. And then there is one more shelf that I want him to build that is like a slightly more detailed style. And that's gonna be where we put all of the cloth diapers that I have. And that's gonna go over the dresser and it's gonna look really cool. And we're gonna paint that as well once he makes it. But we already have all the paint colors for it. So for the dresser, we are going with this fresh butter yellow. And this is, I'm gonna take this off to show you. What? Come off, come off, come off, there you go. Look at that yellow, it's so pretty. And that is supposed to be to essentially give a nice nod to Winnie the Pooh. And we're gonna be doing that with a couple other characters on the other shelves, but we'll get to those colors when it's actually time to get to that. But I'm going to set you up and time lapse and just go to town painting this. All right, 
and this is what we are looking like after coat number one. Dan came in and put it up on the workbench for me so I could get the bottom half done. That is what it looks like. I was able to take that middle drawer out, so that's over there. For the time being, we're going to leave that drawer as it is. It wasn't painted when we got it, and I kind of like how that looks because we have a couple other wood tones in the room, so I might we might leave it. But that is what we are looking like. That is only coat one. I love, love uh, the yellow. I'm so happy with that color choice. Okay, well... Dan has been out here working on the shelves that are gonna be for the books. So this is the first coat of green on them. And for these shelves, we are doing a piglet theme. So Disney's piglet, he's just all shades of pink. The original A.A. A. Milne piglet, he is a pink, like skin, if you will, because he's a pig, but his body is green. So we're doing majority green shelf. And then you can see that there's these sides that'll be up on the side. And then he's using that as just an example. There's gonna be essentially like a dowel that goes all the way across. And that'll be what keeps the books from like falling out. And then that dowel, once we get that, that we will paint pink which I think is that paint that's just upside down it probably is yeah so it's gonna be that nice light shade of pink we only got a tiny bit of that because we're not gonna need more, much of it at all nope. but so this is two of the shelves um oh the third one's right there there we go I was gonna say like I thought I thought you had gotten a third one put together so the third one is right there it's just not facing us right now mm -hmm. so that is that. He is getting ready to put a second coat of paint on these, and I am getting ready to go to bed. All right. Next up on our building adventure, and by our, I mean Dan's building adventure for the nursery, is this picture that I am putting up on the screen of diaper shelves that I wanted him to build. And this was shared on one of the cloth diaper Facebook groups that I am a part of, and I loved it. And it came with all of the dimensions and like angles you needed to cut everything at. So Dan set to work using a majority of scrap wood that he had um, of a specific size that would work and that was in good enough quality. And we did have to go out earlier today and buy just a little extra to finish the job, but it ends up like it's it's gonna work out great. So this is what we are working on. You can see currently that Dan is working on painting these three big pieces and we have all of these little slats. And by the color, I'm hoping you can guess that we are going off of Eeyore inspired. So we have this lighter blue that is going to be all of like the inside and outside and the very front of it is this darker shade of blue that almost has like a gray tint to it. And that's going to be the very front essentially that you see. So what we are working on now is just going through and getting all of the pieces painted. And then we'll work on getting a second layer put down. And once all of that is dry, then we can assemble it and put it up, which I think once that is put up, that is going to be the last major piece that we are waiting on for the nursery. Here is all of the pieces with their final coats of paint on them, ready to go. We have, these have like stripes that we didn't paint in the middle because that's where these smaller boards are going to go. And because we want to glue them on and like nail slash attach them uh, um, with more than just glue, then we didn't want the paint to be hitting that same spot. So the glue would adhere better to them. So there is that. And it's time to assemble. So between the last clip that you saw and this one, we had a baby. He's currently laying down right there. He's perfect. I don't think I'm gonna show him yet. I don't know, I don't know timeline wise when my videos come out, when I'm going to like fully introduce him, but now is not that time. What is that time is 
showing you the finished shelf that we made and installed. Look at how good that looks. I mean, don't look too closely because it's actually really janky. We just used scrap wood that we had for the majority of it and it is wonky. So don't look too close. But like, if you look from here, it looks really, really good. Also, we have a couple stuffed animals up there that have been gifted, but I am so excited about this. So now, that was the last big thing that we wanted to accomplish in here. So now that we have that accomplished, it's really just time for final touches. And then this nursery is finished. And that is the finished nursery video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I love this room. This is easily my favorite room in the house. Aesthetically, probably functionally second favorite to my craft room because that's the hard room to beat. But thank you guys so much for coming along on this journey of putting this together. I could not have done it without Dan and without Amanda and Caitlin putting together an absolutely fantastic baby shower and giving me all of the decorations because I used almost all of them in this room. But let me know what your guys' favorite part about this room is. Mine is probably this diaper shelf because we have been thoroughly enjoying cloth diapering and just look at how cute that is with all of the different patterns and I have more down here that are different types of diapers and even like excess up there and oh I love it I love it so much so let me know your guys' favorite part in the comments again thank you so much for coming along I hope you have enjoyed watching this room transform from a very plain guest room to this absolutely adorable A.A. A. Milne Winnie the Pooh nursery I need to go take care of my baby because it is bedtime for him and you guys will probably be meeting him pretty soon, actually. So subscribe if you haven't already so you can see all the other fun videos that I have planned and also so you don't miss when I introduce my baby. So have a great day. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.